was. Interesting video. I have to admit, that was a very interesting video. Um, and I was like, how did the pancakes go from there to down there? What? What? <laughs> It was, I feel like a lot of modern day stuff is inspired, like a bunch of like com comedy stuff, like there is this um, one with claymation that you see in school, I forgot the name of it, I'm, it's going to come to me right as soon as I leave, but uh, it was, um, they had the same mechanism going on where they had the PV dude, he was like, um, he had uh, his whole like kitchen set to like one thing would go off the next day, and the whole, um, the whole other place in the claymation, it was the same thing. It was like one thing would go off, his pants would come flying in, and like he'd be shot down a thing, and boom, Whoa. he'd be there. <laughs> it's it's inter it was really cool, and it was interesting to see what they watched back in the day, because. Yeah. And like now, what we watch like for fun is so much different than what like you guys watched for fun back in the day too. So. <laughs> the teenagers, we watch YouTube videos. We watch like all these people. I like to watch these people called David Dobrik and. Vlog squad and what they do, they just do really crazy stuff. But it's all like I don't know if it's scripted or not, but it's all like four minute videos. Um, like they ha one dude has a blowtorch and he's just like everywhere. It's so much different from what you'd see here because you guys didn't even have YouTube, you had television. different now the world is changing I can't wait to see like when like I, in like 20 years like the new generation they're gonna have something totally different than what I had and then I'll be like okay well back in my day I watched YouTube and that I know that you don't know what that is but it is cool and they're gonna have some new like crazy they're probably gonna watch it in their brains they're probably gonna have chips or something while you were sleeping, everyone in the city was installed code. It was a brilliant idea by Dr. Cocteau that an organically bioengineered microchip be sewn into the skin. Sensors all over the city can zero in on anyone at any time. Money is outmoded. All transactions are through codes. Somebody put me back in the fridge. Man, I'm just watching Pee Wee now as an adult. It would annoy me. Just laugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His laugh is definitely annoying, and then just for him to, you know, do certain things to have you, have you like, why would you do that? Like, it's funny that it all started as some uh, comedy routine. I oh, did it? Morning. How do you do? Lots of surprises are just waiting for you. On your market ready, get set. It's a very character you have to stick with. Yeah. So to do that for, you know what I'm saying, on set, 8 to 12 hours a day? Oh, jeez. It's like you're unraveling a big cable knit sweater that someone keeps knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting. <laughs> Knitting! Could Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure be a drinking game? They'd be pretty drunk because he laughs a lot. <laughs> It's definitely not a good idea.
Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. Pee Wee Herman's a little creepy of a guy. And I think the actor wasn't he put in jail at some point for something. Yeah. Paul Rubens worries about his place in Hollywood history these days. The creator and alter ego of Pee Wee Herman first faced controversy when he was arrested in 1991 for indecent exposure inside a Florida adult theater. There's a lot of things about me you don't know anything about, Daddy. Things you wouldn't understand. Things you couldn't understand. Things you shouldn't understand. Yeah, it's weird having that information watching him in a kid's thing. I don't understand. You don't want to get mixed up with a guy like me. I'm a loner, Daddy. I'm a rebel. My uncle was like obsessed with Pee Wee Herman, so he always did the prank call thing, so that's nice. Hello? Hello! Is your refrigerator running? I've had just about enough of this. Any other terrifying moments you experienced during Pee Wee like one? The first one, I'd say the truck lady that Hi. sort of fueled my fear for being kidnapped for some reason. Some night. On this very night, ten years ago, along this same stretch of road, in a dense fog, just like this, I saw the worst accident I ever seen. I know she wasn't necessarily kidnapping him, but I mean just the fact that there's some weird trucker person on the side of the road that Phoebe just hitchhiked on. That was, that was nice. <laughs> and when they finally pulled the driver's body from the twisted, burning wreck, it looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Nightmare Dream is very scary. The clowns and that, yes. Yes, sir. Pee Wee Herman was messed up. Have a nice day. <laughs> Be sure and tell them Large Marge sent ya. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Come on, shout it out. Play the whip, whip, whip. Yeah.